Oh, good morning, everybody. It is early. It's, look at the colour. Just look outside. It's not even in double digits and I'm up. <laughs> I've witnessed me, people. I'm a risen. It is 5.59, or 6 a.m. exactly Oh, that's now. too early, my goodness. And we'd like to tell everyone what we're doing. We're doing the Christmas food shop. We are doing the Christmas food shop because we need some vegetables and stuff ready for Boxing Day. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're going out for Christmas Day, but we need to get some bits and bobs for the Boxing Day dinner that we're hosting at home for both of our parents. We do, and I've learned over the many years of going to food shopping for my parents, you go when the supermarket opens over Christmas period because it's nice, it's quiet, everything's fully stocked, you can get everything you need. You watch, we'll get there and there'll be nothing. There'll be no... They'll, delivery trucks won't have been, there'll be because of strikes and all sorts of things going on this year. You watch. Anyway, I'll show you when we get there what's inside. Um, so I'm hoping it is going to be all fully stocked, or else I have arisen for nothing at all. Oh, I managed to have a cup of coffee. I mean, it's too early. It's too early. It's just early. I mean, look at that. Look at it. <laughs> it's pitch. Look at it. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm signing off. Oh, well, here we are at the Morrisons, and there is actually cars around. Just look at this. Oh, my goodness. And we did actually see people with trolleys pushing them in. Racing in. Oh, they're literally racing in. I told you. For fear of missing out, they've got major FOMO. That's what it is. All these people have got major FOMO. Ah, <gasps> at this time, oh, they might have cream cakes. Oh, we'll have to have a look. Do we, you obviously need a trolley, don't we? Let's grab one of these. Okay, shall we hang, do you want to hang the bag? Right, ooh, let's go in then. See what's left after these pariahs have been. What are these ones? They're the best ones. What's the difference? They're just the best ones, but they look like the same thing to me. Yeah, they do like the best. And we made it out in one piece. <laughs> it was quite busy. Sorry I couldn't film much, but there was all copyright music everywhere and people everywhere, so anyway. <laughs> we've got our bits and bobs now. I think we're gonna to pop to, we need to pop to another supermarket to get a present, possibly have a McDonald's breakfast and then maybe a nap when we yeah. get home. We're now at the McDonald's drive-thru. We're almost dying. Oh uh, yeah, we need bed. Yeah, I, we were going to go and recreate our first date today for the, um, for the vlog, but I just don't think we're going to do it today. I don't think I can tackle the town centre today. No, so I think we're just going to have this and then literally go home. Morning. Morning. Okay, so it's a few hours since we came back from the shops. Oh my goodness, it was so early. It, it was just such a rude awakening. I was not ready for that. I'm definitely not prepared for it. In fact, we both felt a little bit ill as soon as we got home. So we did have a McDonald's breakfast. I did start to feel better once I'd had that. Then we went back to bed and we slept until 12 in the afternoon. Got up, I've had a shower. I haven't put anything in my hair. This is just um, combed with, with water. I've just left it. Um, just trying to adjust my glasses so you don't see the glare. Um, I've decided to turn today's, today is the 23rd of December. I'm not quite sure when this footage is going out. It probably will be one big vlog because I've done Vlogmas in live stream format over the past few days just to give me a break um because with a live stream there's no editing or anything involved and actually it's turned out really well and i've really enjoyed the interaction with with you guys um so that's been really really nice to kind of finish off vlogmas so in about an hour's time i'm going to be doing the vlogmas live chat day 23 but it will also include the advents for day 24 so you will have seen that then I'm taking tomorrow off, although I've still got loads of things to do. I've got Christmas wrapping to do. Um, I've got to prepare the house just so it's all nice and fresh, ready for Christmas, wash all the beds, all the usual stuff, make sure the kitchen's clean, ready for Boxing Day, because we're hosting on Boxing Day um, both sets of parents. So yeah, it's going to be a busy couple of days. I will be vlogging over that period. And then in the middle of next week after Christmas, I'll be putting out a vlog that will cover today. Uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and probably the aftermath when we're just completely a mess. So uh, so there will be a final sort of Christmas Vlogmas vlog coming out next week. 
Um, but I just feel really accomplished and achieved, um, well achieved, that I've managed to do a whole month of vlogs for Vlogmas. Um, I do feel very accomplished, I think is the word, accomplished. Um, so I will sh pop back in now, Matt's playing computer games. I will show you what we bought. F well, we put some of it away, but I will show you what we bought from the supermarket. Okay, so this is the same as this bag, but most of it is, well, pretty much all of it is from Morrison's. So we have a, a broccoli. Uh, we have two broccolis, actually. I forgot we got two. We have some Chanteret carrots. They were just putting these out when we got there, so they'll be nice for Christmas Day. We have a, a cauliflower, ready for, of course, um, the cauliflower cheese. We're going to try and put an onion up the turkey. I don't know if that's going to work, but that is a cannonball onion. Got some lettuce for prawn cocktail for Christmas Eve. Got a couple, uh, one bag of, no, we've got a couple of bags of parsnips over there. And of course, the sprouts. Now these look quite big, fat sprouts, so I'm kind of looking forward to those. Um, got some bread rolls, because I think we're going to need some bread rolls. Got some crisps for snacks for uh, Boxing Day, like a snacky, picky tea. So we've got Scottish Mature Cheddar and Onion, sea salted. Also some of these, like cheese twists, and um, these with the garlic as well. I can't pronounce that word, so I'm not gonna say it. I've already started digging into the gingerbread house. It is actually very yummy. Um, and the icing does actually give it a really nice, I don't know, it's just very, very nice. There you go, you can see we've spent uh, oh, uh, the house is costing with the things we've got on, what was it, 20 something? It'll come back in a minute. Um, I've used these, I had some cherries to put tea bags in, so different tea bags. There we go, we're spending 28 pence an hour currently. The tea fowl yesterday was really, really good for our dinner. We did uh, breaded fish and some homemade chips. It was really, really good, so I'm very impressed with that one. Uh, we got some drinks. I need to give everything a really good tidy and put things away. Lemonade, Coca-Cola, um, and then if you look in, I'll zoom out for this one, but if you look in our fridge, we did have a sort out the other day, so we've got some coleslaw that we bought, uh, some mushrooms to go up the turkey, there's some cream, different creams and, uh, and custards ready for the dessert, we've got the best one from Sainsbury's, and then we've got uh, the Madagascar vanilla um, no, this one from Morrison's and then the Madagascan vanilla from Sainsbury's. We managed to get some eggs. They were really short and low on eggs. Got some bacon to go over the turkey. Some pigs in blankets, regular sausages. Um, ooh, these are, these are the desserts that we're going to have. So if I just move those a second, you'll be able to see we are going to be having this uh, spiced ginger sponge pudding, which looks lovely. And also there's a sticky toffee pudding in there as well. The trifle is for me, that's what Matt got me the other day. Um, in the freezer, we also bought a few things. We've got some sausage roll reef for um, Boxing Day tea, and possibly we might have these cheese and tomato mini deep dish pizzas as well. Yay, presents have been wrapped. There we go, we're gonna put these under the tree. So we'll make all these Look really nice and gorgeous. And it doesn't look like much, but anyway. <laughs> little things cost a lot of money. But yes, here's our paper. We've gone for a, a Santa this year. A nice kind of Santa pattern. Isn't he, he looks like he's got one of those beard baubles. Oh, he's a hipster Santa, my goodness. But yes, let's go and pop these under the tree. Woo. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Christmas Eve. So this isn't the final table setting. This is just me playing around, <laughs> trying to see what works, because I've got some things borrowed from my mom and some things are ours. Anyway, we've got to seat six people and the table isn't as big as it probably looks. So what we've got is I borrowed these kind of gold under under placemat things uh, from my mom, which are really nice. And then we've got these under plates, which I'm going to put um, this china on. This is mine. It is, uh, it's Wedgwood and it's the Colosseum design. I've had that years, so that's going to be on there. Then I think we're going to have some red napkins to go on top, and with the knives and forks, these are also Wedgwood on the top on the, the on top of the napkins, if that makes sense. Then I think we're going to have the those candles in the middle, possibly 
if I can find a slimmer, taller one, maybe, because there's not a lot of room. Um, and the plan is, ignore the mess, <laughs> that will be all cleaned up. The plan is to have all, like, like a self-serve buffet Christmas dinner, so everything will be laid out on the island, people can go get what they want, and then come down and eat. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. Um, oh look, we have, we have cats. Molly's in the other room, but we have a bow and a Rory over here, look. There they are. And it's quite sunny today. I'm not quite sure what the temperature is, but it's not too bad for Christmas Eve. So there we go. Okay, so it's the evening and we've slightly refined the table setting. So we're not going for the big three candles in the middle. I borrowed this lovely slim, I think it's from the White Company, um, candlestick for the centerpiece, because we don't have a lot of room. Um, we've got this salt and pepper now, and this is going to be the table runner for the island, where we're gonna put the self-serve. And we've got some napkins now, which I will put out later, I'm just covering them up. Uh, that's kind of how they'll look, but on top of the plate. So that's looking a bit better now. I think that'll look quite nice. But I wanted to show you the festive fridge. Oh, we've got fra we've got prawns, prawns defrosting, ready for prawn cocktail tonight. It's gonna to be Christmas Eve dinner. The gingerbread has got a little bit more munched. I don't know who by. But I wanted to show you, if I zoom out, the festive fridge. La la. So we've gone for all the dairies on the top. I know there's a bit of a glow from the light, but we've got, maybe it goes, ah, there you go. It's about a little bit better. So we've got dairies with all the custard and the butter and the cheese. Going down into another dairy layer with also desserts. Don't they look gorgeous? They look amazing. Um, we've got the turkey defrosting in a tray. Um, and we've got some, some of the meats there. And there we go. That's kind of the festive fridge. Hello, Bo. Oh, it's Christmas Eve. And we've got... What are you doing? Hello, come on in, come on down. We've got a Christmas Eve box. It says Molly, Rory and Bo, We've Christmas Eve here. box. And the instruction was not to open it until... Oh, what is all this? Oh, wow. Oh, what have we got in here? What's this? Oh, look, Molly. What do you think? Here you go. What do you think? It's a Santa. Got a little pom-pom. Oh, the, the boys are in the box. Already. We'll give we'll give Molly the pom pom for now. Right, what have we got here? Oh, you like these? It's those creamies. Oh, those creamy dreamies. Creamy dreamies. These are the squirty ones, aren't they? <gasps> they like these. What else? Have... <gasps> what have we got here? Look at this. <gasps> what? Oh, look, they're little. What are these? Are they little booties? Boo boo. Look. Oh, <laughs> Rory likes those, don't you? Yes. Could you put the light on for me? It's a little I bit can't. dark. <laughs> okay, there's a molly on you. It's a little bit dark. Um, okay, what have we got here? We've got a Christmas Eve surprise. The ideal gift includes first month. Could you put the light on? Oh, that's better. We've got a Christmas Eve surprise. Wow, what's in there? Joy in every moment. Have a look. What oh, it sticks. There's little uh, fish sticks. Look at the little booties. Look at the little booties. Aren't they cute? The bow. Oh, look, there's a little mince pie. Oh. <clears throat> Do you want your mince pie? Crinkly mince pie. A crinkle mince pie. And we've got some. Oh, these are a catnip. Uh oh. Who wants the catnip dreamies? And then we've got some tempting beef dreamies. Oh, but there must be catnip in those. Yeah. He's living there. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a ho, ho, ho. Santa is on his way. Aww. Santa is on his way. Oh, a treat dispenser. Oh, that's helpful. Oh, that's good. We can put the treats in and it can wobble. Rory's having the time of his life. Rory loves that. Look. Hello, my darling. Is that nice? And then we've got, what are these? Uh, a Cupid and Comet <laughs> catnip toy biscuits. Uh oh. They're toy biscuits. Maybe Bo. Could you open those? Maybe Bo would like the toy biscuits. Molly's being a good girl, aren't you? Yes. You've got this one. This has got something in it. I think it must have catnip in it. <laughs> oh, oh, look at these little biscuits. Aren't they so cute? Bo, Bo, do you want a biscuit? You want biscuit? Yeah. Does Molly want one? 
Molly. Oh, Molly. Take a look. Molly. <laughs> what is going on? Right. Cats. Molly. Put one for you there, look. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a lot of catnip out. <laughs> We're going to have crazy cats. There we go. Thank you, uh, Matt's mum and dad, yes, for the Christmas you. Eve box. I think um, Nanny and Grandad's treat was a hit. Oh, yes. With the babies. Look at them. Mm. I think Rory's trying to sniff out the dreamies. Bo likes his little mince pie. Look at that. Oh. Happy Christmas, babies. Woo. So, with dinner, we were recommended by John and Paul. Thank you for the recommendation. A Christmas Karen. Apparently, it's a new movie. And it's actually got four stars, apparently. I think it's a bit like um, A Christmas Carol with Scrooge, apart from it's Karen. So maybe there's some sort of intervention. Anyway, I was going to show you what we're having for tea. It's prawn cocktail. Here's one we prepared earlier, <laughs> or rather just now. So it's a prawn cocktail, just a big bowl of salad. We're going to have some garlic bread. And then we're going to put this store-bought Coleman seafood sauce crafted in Britain well, on the top. If you want to know the recipe for a really good seafood sauce, if you've got the time and inclination, because my mum got taught this by a proper chef. Yeah. I think it's three quarters salad cream, a quarter ketchup, and a pinch of salt and pepper. And there it. you go. You can make your own Ooh, Christmas time. Mistletoe and wine. Garlic bread and Karen's corn. moaning all the time. With managers to call out to you. It's time to rejoice in the Karening that we do. There we go. There's the finished article in the light and some garlic bread as well. Yum. Yummy. Ooh, and here we have a present from... Oh, by the way, it's Christmas morning. Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. And um, this is a present from my auntie Margaret. Ooh. Oh, I've already had a tea cosy. Thank you very, very much. Um, I do actually have a teapot. So there we go. It's a lovely knitted teapot with a nice flower on it. Right, let's have a look. This is very well wrapped. Oh, it is well wrapped. <laughs> there we go. Let's... There we go. Done it. There you go. That's it. Ooh. What is it? Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Now, I think... It's a lovely glass vase. Mm, Thank you gorgeous. so much. And I think, yeah, now, this must have belonged to somebody in the family. I'm thinking this might have belonged to Nana. Oh, thank you very much. Thank I love you. it. In fact, I haven't got a vase this big. This is a nice, big, chunky one. Thank you so much. I'll, put, I'll be able to put some flowers that I grow in the garden in it. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. And for starters, we have yes, parsnip soup. Yummy. 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 Matt's had tortellini. This is Matt's chocolate delice. Delice. It looks yummy. Uh, orange sponge pudding with what cream? Did that, Some right? kind of cream. Oh, yummy. They did that. Hi, everybody. It's Boxing Day and it's Boxing Day carnage. It is. I've just woken up to not only a beautiful sight of uh, Boxing Day Christmas dinner being cooked, but also lots of cat mess. There's yeah. been sick on the floor, right under under the dining table. I've cleaned it up and sprayed. There's been... Bo has had a little spray. Yes, he's taken to spraying, we think, on the stairs. So I've had to clean that up. I had a really good tip, though, from the vet, and that was to use bio either powder or liquid detergent, like regular clothes washing stuff, and then rub it all in. And then that apparently breaks down and deodorises everything. So, yeah, you're in the bad books this morning, aren't you, sweetie? Uh, but no, everything's been really good, apart from we don't think the beef has thoroughly defrosted. No. <laughs> but it does have a few hours still. It does. Hmm. It looks better than it was. Yeah, and they've got the cauliflower there. So a lot of the veg prep's been done. Yeah. Um, I still need to set the table properly. We've got some Christmas crackers over here. Yeah, and I've still got loads of things to do. Ah. Oh. 
Hi everybody, it is New Year's Eve <laughs> and I just thought I'd show you my socks that have come in. So we've got this kind of, um, well they're all wintry kind of colours, so maroon, then we've got this which is a kind of uh, cream and grey and slightly gold check. And then we've got this brown pair, but I haven't actually got a brown pair. So there we go, those are all my London Sock Company socks for this month. Hi everybody, it is still New Year's Eve and I have gone to bed because it's freezing. <laughs> so I've got a hot water bottle in the bed. I've been editing this vlog and we, I've just been joined by Bo who wants a cuddle. Um, so a little bit of an update since I think we last did a proper update. Um, by the way, thank you so, so much for watching our Vlogmas episodes. They did really, really well. And I think most people really enjoyed them. I don't think we'll be doing a full-on Vlogmas next year, just because it was very, very tough. Um, enjoyable, but tough. And um, so I think we'll be doing the 12 days of Vlogmas next year, where I do one every other day in December up till Christmas. I think that'll work a lot better. Um, plus, I will be returning to my Royal Reviewer channel in earnest. I've already started, so there are already some live chats up on Royal Reviewer. If you haven't... Uh, being back to check. Um, so I just thought I would explain about Christmas. So you saw that we went out for Christmas dinner. You also saw Christmas Eve and the cats really enjoyed their Christmas Eve box. Christmas dinner was really, really nice. I didn't film much, obviously, because uh, of family being there. Then Boxing Day, Matt cooked for uh, for ourselves and both sets of parents don't know where Bo's off to. Um, and that went really, really, really well. So much so that we are actually hosting the Christmas Day dinner here next year. So, um, you know, that was good. Matt really coped very well cooking the dinner. Um, all the timings were perfect. In fact, it was better than the Christmas dinner that we had out. So that was a rip-roaring success. So we're doing that, I think, for, for next year. That is the plan so far. Um... Today, obviously, is um, is New Year's Eve. We are staying in. Uh, we, we're definitely not going out. Um, I think it's going to be good just to have a bit of calm, relaxation. Um, we'll have some. We'll have a. We'll have a, a dinner. Um, I think we're going to have um, some prawn, like a, a prawn curry. I think Matt's going to cook um, a prawn curry. He's done that before. Chicken and prawn curry. Um, it's really, really nice. We're, we're going to have that. Um, then we're going to watch some TV, um, have some snacks. We've still got loads of leftover Christmas food. And then we will s s bring in the new year. We might have some Prosecco um, and we will watch the fireworks on the telly or the London display. So let's hope uh, that's going to be good. Also, I think it's an important point to mention that for uh, many, many people, 2022 has been a challenge um, with the cost of living and, you know, Things have just, it's been a challenge um, in our countries and in the wider world as well. So I'm really hoping that 2023 will bring in much better days and things hopefully will get better for, for us and, and for everybody. Uh, we do hope, uh, we have actually made, well, Matt's made more kind of New Year's resolutions than what I have. Matt will be returning to his, his vlog channel, um, all about kind of, fitness and health and you know new year new you basically so he will be doing uh, a series of vlogs on um on the on the kind of new year changes I, I don't really want to say resolutions but more like the new year changes that he's going to make um but really what we want to do is do a little bit more travel as well in the new year we'll be doing more new build show home tours we'll be doing more weekly lifestyle vlogs um, so yeah, pretty much expect the content to keep coming on this channel and on my other Royal Reviewer channel. So I think that's all for me to do now is to wrap up and get this vlog out so you've got something to watch on New Year's Eve if you're not going out. Um, so thank you for watching us throughout the whole year. We really, really do appreciate it. It means the world to us um, just to have, just to know that you guys actually enjoy watching what we put out i mean to us it's just normal life 
Um, so thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for liking and commenting and sharing and being subscribed. Again, all of those things really do help. Um, so all that's left to say is I really hope you have an amazing New Year's Eve, wherever you are and however you are celebrating it. And I really, really wish we both do that you have a fantastic new year ahead. So from us to you all and goodbye. Happy New Year.